Okay, so this is Land Armour. This is about Viking clans settling in Iceland. It's tile-based. And let's get stuck in. Let's see what it's about. New Saga. Okay, so we have different clans to choose from. So we have the Bulls, the Builders, the Gardeners. Okay, it looks like these ones aren't available yet. So, let's try the bulls to start with. Onward. And we get to choose our region. See, what do the bulls do again? Okay, so harvest is increased by one, but our starting hearts are decreased by five. So construction cost is decreased if we find the landmarks. Okay, interesting. Uh, winter's toll is decreased by one. Chance to find tiles increased. Heart capacity increased. Okay, well, let's just choose when I get stuck in. After a long journey across the sea, the clan reached the shores of their new home. Following the coast, they found a strategic location to establish a homestead and prepare for the coming winter. The path to survival was clear. Explore the land and expand their settlement with buildings to increase heart. Then upgrade the homestead as much as possible to stand the test of time. Oh, excuse me. Grab a slug a drink. Okay, so we got... Spaces pause. This goes quite quickly by the looks of it. So what happens if I click here? Okay, so we can upgrade, but we can't do that yet. So if I double click this, this does exploring. So the bottom right here, I think we have two explorers and two builders. So because we've sent somebody out exploring, one of these has been used up. So let's explore over here as well. Not sure we can do much with the builders. Can we do anything here? Don't have enough heart. Okay. Okay, so at certain points in the timeline, we get more heart over time by the looks of it. So suddenly this should jump up to two. And at the end of this timeline, we're going to have a winter's toll. So, okay. So it looks like it might be slightly randomized. So it might be a little bit of a gambling element, but it looks like it's affected by what you've built and how much you've explored and what the year is. So what does the fisherman actually do? Okay, so you're getting extra hearts and plus one for each adjacent empty sea. Okay, we can build other stuff as well. We've got shipbuilders. That means we can make more fishermen. Oh, blimey. Okay, that increases capacity. Okay, so there's quite a lot going on here. Does this cost heart as well? It does. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so what can we build here? Because these guys were good at farming, if I recall. Okay, we're going to let this go on a bit. Yeah, it needs four hearts to build it. So this is a little bit more puzzly. What's the strat going on there as well? What does T do? Why oh, T toggles stats. Okay, so we've got four hearts now. So this is plus one for each adjacent empty grassland. 
This is C. That's C. So... I think it's worth building the fisherman because we should get more harvest because there's an empty sea tile next to it. Hopefully, hopefully that should increase the harvest just in time for winter. There we go. Okay, so that's increased dramatically now. So that's gone up to four. So we know we're going to survive the winter. So what does that mean we can build here? So we don't want to put too much next to the fisherman. Okay, let's explore that. So I think we're going to want one in the tank for after winter. What is that? Wetland. Okay, so we can do peat farms. Sears reveals the location of the landmark. Here we go. Okay, so we've got a Veg Visir which reduces it to the minimum, but we're going to be okay. We're going to keep hold of that. That's going to be our ace in the hole. We're going to go onwards for now. Okay, so next year the toll goes way up because we've explored more tiles. It's year two. So the pressure is mounting. So I'm going to... Oh, we don't have enough. Oh. I'm thinking we try and get these uncovered. I'm hoping it's more sea tiles because then this will get more and more valuable. So we're just going to let this creep over. Then we're going to send out both explorers. Let's see what we've got. Is that another sea tile? Yeah, cool. We have a woodland. Um, what can we do with this stuff? It's really, we want to get this explored as well. Just get all the adjacent tiles next to the fisherman explored. Okay, yeah, we're getting way more harvesting as well. Though, ominously, there's a little skull here. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, so we can cancel exploration. That's good to know. Let's get this explored as well. Oh, okay. Highlands. So, we've got hunters... Healers, law speakers. This looks pretty deep. It's got like a nice minimalist interface, but oh, hello, question mark. A stretch of surprisingly stable earth was found that extends into the distance. Is this a natural phenomenon or caused by some great beast? Whatever the cause, it will help travel. So this goes for six rounds. The exploration cost is decreased by one heart. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so this actually costs zero now. Hmm. Let's get that one done as well. And then I want to keep some hearts in the tank for winter. The fogs of Niflheim. This is no regular fog. It's so thick it's impossible to see anything past an arm's length. It would be quite beautiful if it wasn't so gloomy. Okay, so this increases exploration time and it increases the exploration costs for nine turns. So we aren't going to be doing much more exploring for a little while, it sounds. And yet this bit up here shows us what effects are going on. So, I'm going to get another 5 in, so it maximum caps out at 10, so it's worth building something because otherwise those hearts are just going to be lost. Um, yeah, this is challenging actually. 
I was hoping for more adjacent tiles to occur, but we're not having a lot of luck with that. So this costs four. I mean, this would increase the fisherman harvest as well. Um, okay, so both of the farming things cost four to build. This is one per harvest, plus one. Okay, so these are the same things, but this is the wetland version, whereas the pasture is the grassland version. I see. Urgh. Let's do a peat farm then. Let's boost that back up. There we go, so we're definitely going to survive the winter. This is here. Resolve that. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That was four hearts off. And pause this and check down here. Okay, so it looks like we've got requirements that then give us a bonus to the settlement, perhaps? Oh, well, we've got way more. Yeah, okay. I presume this shows us what we've explored versus what we've built in terms of amounts. We've got another event coming up this year. So it sounds like we need to get a pasture and a woodcutter going. So let's pop a pasture there. Oh, we are out. Okay. There we go. We're back. And then let's put a woodcutter down there. So we've got some more exploration. Folks and Niflheim is still going on, so let's leave that for now. But actually, it's only the exploration time. Woodcutter and pasture completed. Okay, so that looks like that's upgraded somehow. Next upgrade, homestead. Can't do it yet. Not sure what that. Okay, so the bonus is up here. So the harvest is increased by one heart. Okay. Questions. Um, let's get some more exploration going around these bits that we've started farming. And we'll see whether we can get any bonuses for adjacent tiles. Hmm. I'm wondering about increasing our capacity as well. So there was this utility cache building. Oh, ouch! Okay, so that requires a farmstead and 11 hearts. So how do we get 11 hearts? Excuse me a moment, Jack. Sorry about that. Just had to wet my whistle. I got very dry for a moment there. A little bit of a coughing fit. It is so warm today. It's uh, humid as well. It's it's kind of gross. <laughs> so this increases the heart capacity, but we need 11 hearts and we cap out at 10. <laughs> So there must be something else that increases the amount we can hold. That's the same cost. Oh, 
I am confused, chat. That's the same. Okay. Let's... I don't want to waste, because we're going to get like 11 in a minute. So we really need to get stuff built. So what was the farmstead again? That was a pasture. Kiln, Scully, Healer. You'd think it would be on grassland. Woodcutter. Oh, okay, we can start decreasing winter's toll as well, but that costs 11 as well. Construction cost decreased by two. Ah, that's an 11. It's taunting me. Okay, so this requires 10, but it increases our capacity by 10 as well. I think, and this is the homestead, I think that's what it's about. So, let's not waste the hearts, because we're going to get 11 in a second. Oh, okay, so you can only build one of each type by the looks of it as well. Okay, now things are getting interesting. We haven't built on the Highland before. Let's put a hunter down. Let's burn off another exploration as well. And... What else can we do? Exploration time decreased. All the good ones are really expensive. Yeah, we don't have enough for anything else. Okay, let's let it go. Okay, so we can upgrade the homestead now. So let's get that going. Then we're just going to have enough to survive winter. Okay, a death in the clan. A highly regarded member of the clan dies and is celebrated with a grand funeral, but their absence will be felt greatly. So, we have a choice of effects. Um, either construction and exploration can't start for three rounds, or exploration and construction time is increased by 50% for three rounds. I mean, because we're saving up for winter, I'm going to go for this one. Because we need to save up in these three turns anyway for winter. Oh, it's going to be really bad if it does 10. We might have to use our Vegvisir. This isn't going to build in time. Oh, just short. Woo, we were lucky. Okay, we only lost six. It's only going to get harder each year by the looks of it. Ooh. Keep remembering to pause because that time goes quickly okay so we get to choose an effect on our settlement hunter counts woodland as bonus tiles i would love to see whether what's next to that tile <laughs> it's not gonna let me i don't think no nope, can't drag it Urgh. Peat farm does not harvest any hearts. That sounds bad. Okay, we're going to go with craftsmanship for now. So, we're going to get 14 next turn. we got capacity of 20 now. Urgh. So, let's get this explored. I don't think we're going to have enough to build. What if I zoom out here? 
It's a nice Aurora Borealis of that effect there. Okay, got a little bit more to play with now. So what can we do here? Let's... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we require a farmstead to build the shipbuilder. What does that mean? Okay, so the next upgrade on here is farmstead. And it requires 20 to build. Okay, so we're going to be able to do that. But we're going to need to be cautious with how much we spend. And then hopefully we should have enough here to prep for winter. Hmm. Might actually get some more exploration moving. What can I put here? Yeah, decreasing winter's toll sounds like a really good priority. Okay, we can decrease construction cost as well. Let's get this going for now. Let's get the kiln built. And then let's leave that. Oh no! Shoddy craftsmanship! After reviewing some of the recently constructed buildings, it was determined there was some sloppy work done. For the next while, the clan will be exceptionally meticulous during construction to avoid further mistakes. So we got another choice again. Increase construction time or increase construction cost. I'm going to go with time because I want to get that uh, main building up to farmstead. Okay, so that's 17. We've got a question mark one here. Curious polar bear. Uh-oh. <laughs> A great white bear entered the village today, shocking everyone. I'll bet. The hunters quickly gathered, and the bear met a quick end. Oh no. There will be no shortage of meat anytime soon. Hmm. I'm not sure how we feel about this chat. <laughs> well, we get a heart. And... Yeah, there's math involved here, isn't there? Okay, that's a glacier as well. So I presume that this icon here, because this is a hunter tile, I presume this is just a thing saying, hey, the hunter uses this bit as well. Let's not build stuff on there. Do, do, do. Okay. I don't want to spend too much because I want to get it up to 20. So I'll take a 3 down to 12. That'd be all right. So ideally we should spend 6. Math is happening. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay, these cost way too much. Cost 11 requires the farmstead. It's 11. So anything that costs 6. Okay, so there's this. This increases a chance to find star tiles and increases the harvest. Let's. Let's go with it. So we can cancel as well, that's good to know. Doom. We were still paused. Herp derp. <laughs> Kiln is complete. Nice 
soundtrack on this. I kind of dig the art style as well. Okay, farmstead time. Upgrade, let's go! Then we'll get 14 in, and that should just squeak us through winter again. I'm going to see whether we can leave this, because I'm slightly worried if it's a negative event that we're going to lose our food and we kind of need it. Let's see whether we can pick that up in the spring. Here it comes. Oh, that's all we got for the demo. Fair enough. Thank you for playing this demo. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider wish lands. Wish there. It's the end of the night, chat. Wish listing land Nama. Fair enough. Okay, so that was land Nama. Toll based, Viking, exploration, building, all that good stuff. That was fun. So I think. That's going to be it for me for tonight. So, you know what the drill is. I'm going to see whether there is anybody to raid.